Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another 200, 200 pounds, 500 pounds worth of two found coins that we're hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones and more than face value, but ideally new ones for the book. We have got bagged bags here, which sometimes can be lucky. Hopefully it's not um, someone else has hunted through these coins and pulled out all the goodies. But it's been sealed since February. So this is uh, what, eight months this has been sat around uh, waiting to be used. So who knows what goodies might be inside that I don't normally look at the dates and bags but the the, the bag bag but the bag bags ones the re recyclable bags I think it's kind of interesting um right so this is the book we're using there is a link in the description to the books I use if you want to pick one up it is an Amazon affiliate link so I do get a bit of com commission if you make a purchase what do we need any four Commonwealth Games coin would be fantastic Olympic Beijing handover is our last Olympic to find Still missing the underground roundel, uh, Navy Centenary with the flag error, otherwise we're done. So we are, numerically, we haven't got many left to find, but we've got some very tricky ones still in the in the in in these uh, Commonwealth games. So let's get into this bag, see if we're lucky today. Okay then, into bag number one. This is a long coin bag. <laughs> I can reuse those though, reuse those though, which is always a bit of a pass. So this is Technologies, the standard definitive design used on two pound coins up until 2015. Some are lower minted years than others, just not low enough that um, I look out for any of the, the key, uh, any of those key dates. Uh, but what we're really looking out for are exciting commemorative coins, especially those ones that we're still missing. We have there recently had a, a couple of recent coin releases. Oh, there we go. Guy Fawkes, the gunpowder plot. It's a fairly common coin, worth just face value, unfortunately. So yeah, we've had the release of the Snowman 50p. I do like the Snowman 50p. It feels like an annual tradition. Buying up my Snowman 50p and then going to strike my own one at the end of the year, which I am doing. Um, oh, I can't remember what date it was now. It's the one o'clock tour on the Saturday and the Sunday. I'm staying down to do two, uh, two trips to the Mint at the end of November. Uh, if you go back and watch my Royal Mint trip video for when I went down recently to get the current Strike Your Own, which is the Gruffalo's Child, I, 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 I tell you the dates now, I just can't remember off the top of my head. Right, this is Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait to the Queen. We know it'll be something. It's the Army Centenary. So on this one we check for the rotation error, which we did when we checked the coin anyway. And the edge inscription for King and Country, so that's exactly how it should appear for a circulating coin. Of course, I will check through all the other coins for any errors at the end of the video, but it's just I don't check them all as worth hunting through the coins. Right, another fifth portrait of the Queen. It's Shakespeare's comedy. is very nice. This is the rarest of the three Shakespeare £2 coins. Um, they're part of quite a desirable set, so they, they they tend to sell for more than coins of a similar mintage. Again, check the edge inscription. All the world's a stage. So unfortunately, as it should be. It's a nice condition, though, which is always good. So yeah, Snowman 50p, I do like it. I think it's a lovely design again. I'm waiting to see, I always reserve final judgment um, for holding the coin in hand because there have been times where I've liked a design or I've disliked a design and when it's been there in my hand, in person, it's changed my opinion. So the 2019 Paddington's a great example. I saw the image and thought, really? This is the design? That's what, mm, I wasn't too keen on them, but when they arrived, I was uh, quite happy with them. And now, now, now I'm so used to seeing them. And they look absolutely fine. So again, always reserve final judgment for when uh, they arrive in hand. We've got the VE Day anniversary there. Very, very common coins. We've got counters tracking that coin along with some of the common, some of the uncommon coins, just out of interest to see how many we find over the course of completing the book. Um, so yeah, Snowman I thought was a positive. And I was so grateful, as far as I'm aware, there was not a 1 40th of an ounce gold version as well, which, uh, there has been for many, many coins this year, and I hope that next year they revisit quite how many of those they're going to put out, because I bought the first two thinking, oh, this is a, ni a nice little uh, thing. I can buy a couple a year, and they're kind of interesting. I love that they get one, they get these big designs and shrink them down to the size of a coin smaller than my little fingernail. I think it's really impressive that they can do it. It's a terrible way to invest in gold. You're paying way too much for the gold, um, there are much more cost-effective ways if you're looking to invest in gold, but again, I'm not, I am never buy something as an investment. I always buy things just because I want them in my collection. But um, I was a little bit aggrieved at quite how many. I thought if there's a really special occasion, one or two coin releases a year, 
would have this 1 40th of an ounce gold coin go along with it but um the raw mint had different thing uh, different thinking this year and released an absolute ton of them so i'm knocking on for almost an ounce of gold <laughs> not quite not quite <laughs> knocking on maybe half an ounce of gold in them um or a quarter of an ounce of gold in them uh, having paid a ridiculous amount of money for them so i hope in 2025 we don't see quite as many because uh, i'm not sure i'm going to keep up with buying them all every time they come out uh, but no we also had the latest uh, potentially last because i don't know if there are any more harry potter coins coming out but the uh, latest harry potter coin off the back of the so the we've had um we had four released 450ps released harry potter the train dumbledore not gandalf i was going to call him gandalf uh, and the school oh there's brino's portrait it's quite nice um and they were okay they were nothing exceptional but then uh, the winged keys came out and after thinking what a weird design to put on a coin when there are so many other immediately recognizable thematic harry potter things that they could have done that they decided to do the winged keys it was it just sounded so odd but the design was absolutely lovely i really liked that coin um so i was quite excited for this uh, the black lake harry potter being kidnapped by mer people and then the release came and I looked at the design and thought, what is this mess? This is a, again, reserve final judgment until it's in hand, but uh, I'm not a fan of this latest design. I don't know what they've done. After improving so much with that winged keys design to release this design, I just, it just, the, th the thing is, so it's a coin that there's a version of it that comes with and without color. And I always say, what do, oh my goodness, there's our first Commonwealth Games. Woohoo! It's Scotland. Well, we haven't found an awful lot today. I was going to get a little bit worried. There's only five coins down on my desk, but the sixth coin makes it totally worth it. We're going to tick off our first Commonwealth Games for this book. Fantastic. Well, and it is the more common of the four, isn't it, Scotland? But uh, who cares? We've got one. That's amazing. Um, right. We've broken our Commonwealth, Commonwealth seal. Hopefully, they'll all stop just flood out now and we can finish this book and start all over again. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, coins. If there's a version of a coin with and without colour, what I think is key is that it needs to work as a design both with and without colour. There have been examples where, I don't know, the the Beatrix Potter, the Peter Rabbit, where he's going under the fence, 2020, I think? The coin looks terrible without colour, but it looks great with colour. It totally, you can def it defines all the lines, all the Winnie the Pooh and Friends, the second one they released, Again, that looked terrible without colour, but with colour, it looked amazing. Uh, we've got a 2016 Jodie Clark portrait. It's in Great Britannia, isn't it? It certainly is. 2016, so we'll check the age inscription. Yep. I don't know what it says, but it says what it should say. Um, and uh, I think the problem with this uh, Harry Potter one, he doesn't seem to work with hand or without colour. From, again, have not having seen it in hand yet, my opinion might change, but uh, it would be quite the change. Oh, we've got uh, Bruno's Achievements, Arches at Paddington Station there. Uh, another very common one. There we go, that's a nice one. Golden Guinea, worth a smidge over face value. Not enormously so, but a welcome find nonetheless. But no, it's, it's almost like they've taken, they've taken an, an oh, I don't know, an illustration from one of the Harry Potter books. I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan, so I couldn't tell you what or where. But they seem to have taken out some of the some of that image obviously there's only so much so much space on a coin only so much you can put on there before it becomes a hideous mess and you can't tell what it is so they've stripped out some of the stuff in the background and i think they've stripped out too much i think yeah i just can't really see what's going on in it and those mer people look terrible i mean they, they look i thought they were supposed to be scary creatures but they just look like they look like this they're, they're laughing they're, they're smiling sort of these weird grins on their face i just don't get it um but again we'll wait and see it could be better in hand but uh i doubt it and i'm really disappointed because as i keep saying i was um very very happy with the winged keys design i thought if this is the route that they're going to take this kind of illustration this kind of design that they're bringing to life on the coins I'm well up for that. I thought it was a lovely looking coin. Again, not being a Harry Potter fan, that one had totally won me over. But this Black Lake one, I don't know. It's just, 
it just doesn't do it for me, unfortunately. But again, let's wait and see. Reserve judgment till it's actually in, in, in my hand. It might look better, it might not. But no, because they're things like the, the Star Wars vehicles, uh, the four ones we had, the Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighter, X-Wing and Death Star. Um, again, they look perfectly fine with colour on it, but I think they look better without colour as well. Uh, not, to, not to take away from the version of it with colour, because again, I think it looks absolutely fine, but I think the vehicles, maybe not the, the characters, but definitely the vehicles look better without colour. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see. I'm sure I will do another unboxing video before the end of the year, because we've got a few things coming out before the annual sets start coming out for 2025 right last bag of the hunt as usual in the description of this video you'll find a link to my coin collecting discord server if you'd like to come over and join me on that you can also find links to my other social media channels the p.o box address if you want to write in to me and of course a link to the britannia coin company's youtube channel that's the company i work for as my day job so please check them out too i'm just going to whisk through the coins off to the side and the ones on the desk to see if there's any errors that i might have found throughout today's hunt well unfortunately no exciting errors to be had in amongst all of those coins are not many finds uh, overall but who cares we found a new one for the book that totally makes up for it our first of the four commonwealth games hopefully uh, the first of many to come very very shortly we, we've broken the seal we have found our first one and as far as i'm concerned this is the star find uh, of today's video hands down no competition if you disagree i would be very interested to know what you'd pick as the star find and quite why you think it's worth whether it's better than the commonwealth games otherwise if you agree with me let me know in the comments too um all that leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye